why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Nothing wrong with stability. It means everything's running like clockwork. Don't you ever want a little fun? Maybe see a marauder ship get blown to bits overhead? What a thing to say. Everyone knows marauders can't fly. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? Kid, you got presence. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? Tell you what, you're gonna like it a whole lot more once we start talking bits. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? Fresh natural talent, I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit, but we still need a star, and I think you got the chops. Well, I have been told I have a face made for an Aetherwave drama. And pipes to match. Maybe we can get you reading some of our ad segments. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Terrific. We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. Creo's energizing poison. Enjoy. It's really dark green, like the picture is gold. You think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the gearing? Spacer's choice. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd have to request a county waiver, and you know how flexible the paperwork is. Rizzo's All right. purple berry How does this fudge. sound? A soft flower oh, candy sorry. shell around a pink like purple that. berry flavored <laughs> second. For all auditions, please use the elevator on the left. You're considering it, aren't you? If you could just leave me back at the ship, I'm sure there's something ought to be fixed in it now. I knew you'd get it. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late. All of this settlement CNP hungry time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler, are ours. With their patented stomach stuffing effects and baseline vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. They... they are? What an unexpected twist! You may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Which side is my good side? Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down across the void of space 
while flaming debris fell like rain around us. Hey, I didn't write this. Just go with it. I had you surrounded and outgunned, but you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. I've been waiting for five years now, and at last my day for vengeance has come. Yes, it is. I have this whole port wired with sub-micro-energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field, and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. Oh, but there's nothing you can do. I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. I... Line... Never mind, I think that's scene. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. Cut, cut. That was interesting, kid. Real novel take. Let's take five. There's my star. Walk and talk with me. Hey, listen, uh, I appreciate what you tried there. Um, we've got to review your footage before we make a final decision, though. Look, sometimes you just got to wait for your break, you know? Here, take this for making the trip down here. Don't call us. We'll call you. Mock apple cider. A hard cider for a hard life. So, how many times can you do this? I think we can both agree that Maverick Johnston. Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. Profits are soaring. Promotions abound. This is where those who fancy themselves the best and brightest of our... You... You ask for this. Oh,
This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? You didn't seem too much like traveling with us before you met that hermit fellow. Yes. I was kind of an ass, wasn't I? I wouldn't say that. You were more of an... Uh... Well, I'm, I'm just video. glad you're not like that anymore. I'm supposed to... done. What do you think you're doing? I don't want any trouble us. How are you feeling, Mr. Vicker? After your, uh, hallucinations. Fantastic. But it must be said that the sensation of myself as a separate mind inside a bag of skin was the real hallucination. Uh, wow. Wow, indeed. It's quite liberating to realize that one is simply an aperture through which the universe experiences itself, and that all my pain and suffering was of my own creation. So, if Felix snuck into your quarters one night and stole half your underwear and filled the other half with itching powder, you'd kindly thank the universe and take it?
You! You just slaughtered those guards, and for what? To speak with me? What could possibly be so urgent? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! Minister Clark, what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. He's attempting to game the system. But he won't be able to get away with it forever. Eventually, Rockwell's house of cards will topple. I dearly hope so. And you might be part of the equation. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but... Everything's quiet and still? Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. It usually doesn't turn out so well for the dissidents in the stories, but I like your verve. Now we've got to get into the HHC. That's in the Acropolis District, along with the other major corporate and government facilities. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I... That's good, because there are sure to be more at headquarters. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Wait! Brockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Brockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District.
The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. What in the law's name are you on about? Honest mistake. Why don't you come back another time and we can take this from... Yeah, and I'd really like a new Hammersmith grenade launcher. Hammersmith, the most trusted brand in brutality. But we can't all have what we want. And seeing as you don't seem the executive sort, you obviously don't belong in the Acropolis District. Hey, I've been trying to get a post at the HHC, but they keep turning me down on account of my odious interpersonal skills. Or something. Anyway, I've worked here long enough to know every clerk by name and face. And since I don't know yours, you ain't getting through. What is it now? You're new to the ministry? You one of those lab coats they promoted from a company town? That was yours? Wow. You earned that promotion, all right. So you start tomorrow, huh? You know, they should have set you up with an ID six to eight weeks ago. But then you had to wait six to eight weeks for the complaint forms to arrive, right? I've been there. Yeah, all right. 
You're good to go. Just act like we belong. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting. Stay your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. I'm not authorized to employ humor on the job, sir. Now, let's see. Damn it. I was going to suggest that myself. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms, and I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Ah! Uh, oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Just a moment. What's with the big hole in the wall? Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, 
we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. That was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. Well, that was some quite distressing information. Can we talk? If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? I hate to contradict you by pointing out that everyone dies, but it is better to die last, I suppose. Anything you'd like to discuss? Yeah, huh? I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. I suppose that is admissible. Please try not to break anything.
Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for chairman... I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. <laughs> 